This is the second video in the JSON passing JSON from Power Apps to Power Automate and then processing it in the Power Automate. So we'll create a, a flow uh, which will uh, receive the JSON uh, instant cloud flow triggered by Power Apps. The name of the flow would be get JSON. Trigger would be Power Apps create. Add a step initialize variable. Name of the step. We'll put it as the JSON. The variable name, oh, the variable name also the JSON. Type would be string. Value would be ask in Power Apps, save. Test manually, let's test it manually. Oh, I don't have a JSON available. This must be JSON. Nothing is going to happen, but ran successful. Edit or we leave it as is. Now go to Power Apps. Apps. Oh, we don't have that. Okay. From my videos, I'm gonna get the JSON. YouTube.com was less number power apps, thousand videos, thousand videos, lesson four fifty six. We will get the code of this year so we add a button to create the JSON we'll quickly run it the same app we created in the previous video JSON. Insert another button. And in this button, we will act in the action power automate, power automate. Get JSON. We will add the reference of that flow here and on select of this button we will say set flow. We are not returning anything so get JSON run, run and the variable JSON, we pass the variable JSON. So this button we 
call it uh, text to be create collection and this one would be pass the collection and we increase the font size so let's make it 32 no arm or girls run it create the collection i hope it's clear collect pass it So the collection came successfully in the flow as a JSON string. The collection is here, see. Collection here, it came in the flow as a JSON. We will create, we will uh, use uh, to parse this JSON and use it, maybe sending an email or creating a PDF out of it, but that's for another time. Thanks for watching the video.